He is quite enjoying this t-shirt. This is available on leopardgeckomerch.com. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special video because I have a new pet. Everyone, meet Timothy, the Timor Shield Mantis, also sometimes known as the Timor Giant Shield Mantis. This is gonna be a hard video to film because I'm having to try to keep him in focus. I'm very close to the camera and I have a very creaky chair. So um, I'm gonna to try to do my best to keep him in focus, but we do have some other cool footage of him that we'll take a look at. Look at him wobble. Yes. So you may be wondering, oh look at that, oh my goodness. I still can't get over this. I've been observing him for the last like few days and every time he cleans his little feet, it is the cutest thing. I just can't get over it. Anyway, so you may be wondering why did you get a mantis? I think he's gonna crawl on you. Oh no! There you go, he's gonna give you a hug. There you go. Oh, oh hello. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just continue whilst he's climbing on the camera. So you may be wondering why did you get a mantis? So I have been growing the Biob Earth Tank. Uh, it's doing really well. We'll get a little update in a moment. And I really wanted to house something in it because it seemed a waste not to have anything living in there. Now, I'm not using the UV system just because I'm very icky with UV. I like to use equipment that I know and trust and not to say oh ours haven't got a trusted UV lamp here I'm just very particular so I didn't want to use this tank for anything that required UV like an amphibian or a reptile and also the tank's like 50 by 50 by 50 so there's not a ton of amphibians and reptiles you can keep uh, some people did suggest a morning gecko uh, they asexually reproduce and that is one thing I do not want uh, that's one reason I also didn't get a stick insect because um did not want that happening um so the main two inverts that i was going to choose between was either the millipede or the mantis so a lot of you guys did recommend mantis and once i found out they don't asexually reproduce i was like okay we can think about it now and also they're carnivores so they're not going to destroy the plants and obviously I was like well millipedes are cool but I think they tend to have to live together ideally they like to live in groups so they could reproduce um can you see I have an issue with things reproducing just because I don't want things getting you know overpopulated in a tank or anything like that and me just getting overrun um but I did definitely think about millipedes but then I figured they would probably burrow down and I wouldn't really see them very much and there's so much plant growth that I really wanted something to properly enjoy it and so I decided yeah let's go for a mantis it's very different than anything I've owned before I did have Francis a stick insect for a month um though I wasn't really um well prepared for Francis he hitchhiked on me out of a shop um so yeah So the Biob Earth has grown really well. I mean, the layers, as you can see, are really deep. We obviously have a drainage layer and then the substrate super deep. And then the baby's tears plant is done so well that I needed to trim it. Um, I thought I had aquarium scissors, you know, the proper ones to trim a terrarium, but I didn't. So I just used normal scissors and it was like giving it a haircut. The good thing about this plant is it's kind of like a weed and um, it can take a lot. I mean, I have a lot of it around the pond in my garden and my dogs will tread on it and everything and it always bounces back. So it's one of those plants you can be a little bit harsh with, but I wanted to cut it down just so the Fetonias could breathe and have room to grow because there is a chance that this plant could really take over and negatively affect those plants. But those plants are doing really well too and as i said in the last update they haven't grown leggy like they have in the past in my other tanks those other tanks are taller and they do have larger plants in there so there's a lot more to compete with but these have really spread and add a pop of color to this tank now another thing i mentioned in the past video is that the vent at the back was getting covered up a bit 
And so, I don't know if you can really hear it now, but there is a fan on in the tank, obviously, to keep the air circulation good. The tank is on silent mode, but you can still hear it. I mean, it's nothing bad. It's just this room's usually super quiet, so you do notice it. Um, but we wanted to clear that area because obviously the plants started to grow around that. Now the big begonia at the back is doing so well that it is reaching the lights and the leaves are frazzling off. So I am having to trim that. It's a really great plant to have and it's gonna be great for Timothy but um, I may eventually re-pot it outside the tank just because I don't want it to constantly get frazzled and sort of die off. But um, I should have known this before because as I said when I was planting this tank, this is a big plant so it was bound to outgrow the tank. But overall the plants in here are doing amazing. I mean the cork pieces that I put in here originally have been completely submerged. Um, but this is why I kind of really wanted something that would enjoy all of these plants and everything and make use of them and that's why I think Timothy is a good fit for this. So now back to Timothy. Now I've never really had any interaction with mantis before. We don't really get them native in the UK. I don't think we have any native ones. I think there might be some in Europe but I imagine they're more like near the Mediterranean, somewhere warmer. So these aren't animals I've ever handled before and I really wasn't sure. Why are you so cute? Why are you just looking at me? I really wasn't sure how I was going to handle him, whether I'd be able to handle him regularly. Is he going to jump a lot? Is he going to fly? I don't think he's developed his wings yet, so we're all good there, but he can jump. Um, but he's so easy to handle, very cool, very friendly. Someone did tell me on Instagram that they can bite, which I was not really aware of, but then I did see him chomp down on that cricket, so he definitely probably could bite, especially when he's bigger. But he's so fun to handle, he's so animated. It's so cool and you can see those pseudo pupils that look like they're looking at you. It's all an illusion because I can see them at the back of his head as well. It's how the light sort of bounces off of it, I think. But yeah, in terms of moving Timothy into that tank, obviously it's very big. A lot of places will recommend three times the mantis's length for the height of the tank and two times the mantis's length for the width of the tank. That way there's room for it to molt. So as you can imagine, Timothy here isn't the biggest. I mean, he's definitely not like a tiny nymph. He's quite, I would say quite a decent size. He's still got some growing to do, but he's a decent size. But obviously the tank's 50 by 50 about that. So it's massive. And I honestly thought once I put him in, I'm not gonna be able to see him at all. He's just gonna disappear. But he is always at the front of the tank. He's very easy to spot actually and he'll certainly grow into this. Now, one thing I did do in the tank is add in a branch because a lot of places say about like, when you have a mesh lid so they can hang upside down to molt. So I was like, oh, I don't have a mesh lid. Um, but obviously he's got plenty of things to hang on. He has his plants and everything, but I wanted something a little more solid. So I did get him that branch um, and that should hopefully do the trick for him if he needs to molt. Now, this species can get up to 10 centimeters long. Generally, females are longer and they tend to live longer. Um, I don't know if Timothy is a boy or a girl, to be honest. I literally called him Timothy because he's from Timor. Um, I actually have to look into how to tell if you have a female or male. I imagine it's something down to size. Um, at this point, as I said, he's quite big but he was captive bred this year i don't know specifically what month um so he could be quite old now generally they the, the age like with any invert really varies um some say these can live up to 18 months that's generally females though so we shall see um but i hope i have him for a while i feel like i'm getting far too attached to all these like my little invert pets and they're just gonna pop their clogs and i'm gonna be sad i know a lot of people have said that the reptile to invert arc is strong with this one uh they can see me turning into an invert channel to be honest i think when you've owned reptiles and then you go to looking after inverts you realize kind of how easy they are to look after um obviously i have all my isopods i have which i've had for years anyway a lot of the I've always had isopods, I just got a new, few new species in the last year or so. 
I've had my ant colony for about four years and I got Betty and Bertie this year, my jumping spiders, which I will do an update on shortly. Oh, he's on my back, he's on my back. Okay, we're gonna finish this video of Timothy on my back. I'm really glad I chose a mantis because so far he is extremely cool. So now I'm in this awkward position and I don't know how good the audio is and he is just wobbling on my back. I figured this is a good time to end the video. So <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave a like, but thank you for watching guys and goodbye.